morning everybody and uh, it's a pleasure to see so many friends of uh, water and hydrology present uh, today. So welcome once again and, um, and I wish you most successful conference and uh, I'm really looking uh, forward to the outcome of uh, your conference and, uh, and your wisdom in how to, how to better engage the hydrological community in WMO activities. Thank you. The Hydro Conference is looking at creating a better interface between the hydrological services and the users with a view to impact positively the society in general. Without um, a good interaction, the water will not arrive to the users in the right quantity, in the right quality, at the right time. For that, the hydrological services plays a fundamental role to make sure that this will happen in the right way. Wasser ist eine Lebensgrundlage. Water life may say, you better preserve it. Water impacts upon all aspects of our lives. L'eau est un enjeu majeur de la coopération internationale. Water brings prosperity. El agua es magia que nos reúne. Water, precious resource to value. I've been acting as the moderator on the first technical session around data management. And we came up, I think, with some very interesting insights into how we manage and share our hydrological data. We have a lot to do. We are not good at the moment at sharing data. Different nations don't wish to share hydrological data because it relates to things around national security. But water is going to be such an important part of planning for our future that we really do need to put in place now international agreements on data standards and data sharing. One of the critical issues came about in the discussion is balancing uh, the use of global product versus local product uh, to provide the best information to decision makers on water relevant sectors um, to pay specific attention to not to kill local hydrology, ultimately national hydrological services. One of the challenges uh, um, of many of the hydrological services face is the financing of this end-to-end -end value chain of hydrological services and uh, mobilizing resources from both external and internal resources. Um, we talked about the role of private sector helping maybe providing some resources, but also we can work with private sector to disseminate our information and products to the wider community. Four critical issues came out of this session. One was this need for stakeholder engagement, building, working with the, co with the end users from the beginning in terms of co-designing and co-building the products. The second issue is building trust with these stakeholders, with these end users. The third issue is the issue of simplifying the messages, the products that we communicate to the end users. And the fourth issue is the engagement with the private sector, who can bring in finance to strengthen the sector. During the last two days, the discussion on hydrological services was fascinating. There is an overall understanding that hydrological services, if well designed to address the need of hand users, is the best tool that we have in our hands to impact positively the sustainable development agenda as well as the stability of the society. Today, we need you, the political leaders, to help us raise awareness, financing, and resources for this very important subsector of the water sector. Thank you.